a lovely good evening. Rob here from RobsHouseCrunch.com. As I sit here this evening, here in Campbell, Cambodia, enjoying the just enjoyed the sunset over Boga Mountain. I've been chatting with a lovely person about food today, as I'm a nutritionist and keto carnivore expert, and I've been doing this for almost ten years. And as you can see, I'm healthy, fit, and lean and have no fat on my body at all. So I have literally muscle, skin, lean. Not big, lean. Now the way to do that, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to bring this point more, bring it more make it more clear to people again. Because so many people don't get it. So many people have various different problems be that uh, inflammation in the eyes be it like so slowly swollen baggy eyes be it overweight everywhere on the body you know belly legs whatever you see that a lot uh, in adults and kids even here in Cambodia and all over Southeast Asia despite uh, Southeast Asian people in general being s slimmer than Western people but you still see it quite a lot and there's a big problem in Indonesia, I know with the type of diabetes, uh, it's, it's killing thousands of people. And it's getting worse here too. So, the thing is, it's really, really important to understand food and what you're putting in your body. If you think you're too, too thin or too skinny, don't just eat more food and stop eating crap. And what crap is, I mean, I'll make it very clear, whether you like it or not. It's rice, noodles, those um, pot noodles are the worst ever, because they're full of sugar. Those noodles have been chemically altered, and they, so they call, they contain chemicals. And you're putting that into your body. Then you've got bread, pasta, pizza, and anything, uh, croissants, cakes, cookies, anything made with gra grains or wheat or hops. Beer, beer is the worst because it's it's like full of sugar because it, it's made from uh, hops, which is a grain. So when you drink a glass of beer, you're consuming that 30 grams of carbohydrates carbohydrates turn into glucose, into glucose in your bloodstream and then that is converted into your fat cells which makes you fatter. That's where the, the term beer belly comes from because men who drink lots of beer have a big beer belly as I used to but I haven't had that ever since I've been on the keto carnival diet and uh, I've been on it for as I said, 10 years and I'm fit and healthy as ever and uh, I couldn't feel better. So what you must focus on eating if you want to get healthy number one from within you Health starts on the inside, not on the outside, okay? So if you just go to the gym and train and train and train, you may think you're getting healthy and strong, but you're actually not, because you're just pumping your muscles and you're releasing cortisol into your bloodstream, which is our stress hormone. And that stress hormone causes heart problems. It causes heart disease over time. So that's a very important thing to remember. So train less, but train smart. Use your body as a gym. Push-ups, planks, squats, lunges, learn the headstand, learn the handstand. Those are the only exercises you need. That's it. It's all I do three, three, four times a week. Eat the right food. That is all meats, all fish, seafood, eggs, animal fats such as butter, uh, uh, cheese, uh, uh, cream, heavy cream, whipping cream. I use, I use that a lot for my cooking. Um, you can have co coconut oil. It's fantastic. Omega-3 fatty acids. Coconuts are good. Uh, you can have only a few, few fruits like berries, avocados. Uh, and um, so strawberries, blueberries, for example. Uh, high fat Greek yogurt is good. Uh, you can also have a little bit of sweet potato, garlic and onions, and red hot, red hot chilies. Very, very good for your health, full of uh, uh, vitamin C and antioxidants and minerals and, and, and more goodness. Clean the bloodstream from free radicals which cause cancer. So if you focus on those foods and just add, you can add a few vegetables too, like cauliflower, broccoli cabbage, sprouts, because they're, they're the cru cruciferous group of vegetables which do not contain nature's toxins. Uh, nature's toxins are in grains and these are all other vegetables and salads and they're called phytons and lectins. And those phytons and lectins, they drill holes into your intestinal wall where, you're digest, where you digest your food and that makes your, your poo poo leak into your bloodstream through your intestinal walls. So now you can imagine. That is not a good thing. That's a terrible, terrible 
condition to have and it's extremely painful and you're constantly sick. I had it for many, many years, but, but I didn't know it. I did not know it because they put, because they put me on tablets to, to um, mask the problem for years until I had a stroke. And then after the stroke, I used to research food and nutrition, what caused the stroke and the cause of the stroke was that I was 35 kilos overweight at the time, 96 kilos, now I'm 70. Uh, so I'm the same weight now as when I was 18 in the Olympic Games in 1988 in Calgary as a ski racer. And that, my friends, is fantastic. That's what you need to be. So having that stroke led me to study nutrition. Since then, I've been on this diet and I've helped hundreds of people lose weight, get healthy, uh, feel great about themselves again. It's not just the, 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 the weight you lose and, the, and, and, and the, the strength you gain, it's also the confidence you gain in, in your mindset and the happiness that you get from that. It's very, very important to you. Uh, so many, many side benefits that are, that are excellent. You sleep better, your libido goes up, so you're better in bed. Uh, you're happier, you're healthier, you're, you're nicer to people. You have tons of energy, all day energy, and you, and you, just, you just don't want to stop. So that's the, those are the few, many benefits of the keto diet. Keto carnivore is good. I do the keto carnivore mix. Carnivore is just meat and eggs alone. I don't do that. I add all the things I mentioned. So if you add up those, those those foods and eat like that for one month, you will see a massive change in your body and how you feel. All right, that's all from me from Rob, robshealthcrunch.com. Please go there for the best health information and health tips you'll get ever. See you later.